My beloved people of God, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. By God's unlimited grace, we are able to see one another in this morning hour. For you and for me, the strength and the grace comes from His Word. That is our everyday food. Praise be to God. What is a word for this day which is very important? Every day with Holy Spirit named this short message which is only for few minutes. I believe that it is useful for your life. You can give all your comments in the comment sections and God's name will be glorified. Secondly, share to many other people and God's kingdom will be expanded through you. And what a joy it will give. Okay. What is the word for this day? The prophetic book of Ezekiel 47 and verses 3. The later part of this verse says, When the man measured 1000 cubits and he brought me through the waters and the water came up to my ankles. My dear people of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is not divided and give to different people. It is the anointing that has been poured, same anointing which was poured to the early church people. But some anointed are in very powerful ways. Some pray in a very normal way. But all pray in tongues. How is it? You need to concentrate on one thing here. The third verse says, the ankle deep. And the fourth verse says, the water was knee deep. The fourth verse, the later part says, the water was in the waist deep. In the fifth verse we see, the depth is called as a swim deep. See how much deep it is. First the ankle deep, and then it comes the knee deep and the waist deep and then it is called as a swim deep. So today, you and me, how deep we are in the depth of the Holy Spirit. Speaking in tongues, praying in tongues, thinking about the gifts of God, asking God for the grace to receive the gifts. If you concentrate more on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the proportion is raised. And the last proportion is called as a swim dip. If you go deep to swim deep, you cannot stand on your feet. Your feet will automatically raised up. It may be a lake, it may be a river, it may be an ocean or sea. If you go deep, your feet will automatically float. Not by yourself, automatically you will float. So today, children of God, you must go into the deep, which is called as a swim deep. The Spirit of the Lord will lift you automatically. He will fill you with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. All the burdens will be removed. Whatever problems you have in your house, from where this bad dream came, why often fight and strife in the house? Why a downfall? Why my body has this sickness? Why I'm nervous? Why I'm worried? Why this loss? He will give you all the answer for your questions. Not only for you, but also he will help you to bring solution to other people's problems. Joseph was 17 years old. He was just a dreaming boy. But at one time, when he was in the prison, he was able to interpret the dreams of other people. So the deep, the anointing takes him into deep waters. That is the blessing that God wants to give you. The depth of the anointing that you have. My Bible reading is not enough. My anointing is not enough. Lord, shall we pray? Our loving Heavenly Father, I'm praying for your children. After hearing this message, let them not be as they are, but let them pray in the Spirit. Let them pray more in the Spirit of the Lord. Let them have the hunger to pray often in your presence. 
Let God's grace uphold them. Not only for this whole day, but every day you guide them and lead them. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. God bless you, my beloved people of God. God will lead you in a different way. See you again. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalayam Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, Email ID, gpsrobinson at hotmail.com, gps.office at jesusmeets.org. Website address, www.gpsrobinson.org.